Nick, uh, second fall camp for you now. Um, just kind of maybe a different feel for you in year two than kind of learning the ropes uh, back in year one. Yeah, it's uh, you know it's a it's a lot different now. I've had the experience of games under my belt, um, and last year it was a bit of a roller coaster ride. It was it was fun though. We got to spend quality time with the fellas, and I think that's why we got a good tight bond in the specialist group. Um, but yeah, that year year two is going to be a good stepping stone for me to really mature in the game, understand it more. Like I understand what's going on now, <laughs> like why flags are thrown and what's going on in the game and when I have to go out instead of just, you know, being a headless chicken running around going, what's going on here? So yeah, that's nah, good. You mentioned kind of the, the bond in that specialist uh, room. How's it kind of been adding Colton and Luca to that group? Oh yeah, they're really good. Um, we just added another punter named Vincent Gawley and uh, you know, that, that bond has obviously grown throughout full camp as we've uh, progressed together. Colton's came in, he's, he's done a great job, and Luke has come in, he's a, he's a freshman, so obviously he's, he's a little nervous and, and whatnot, but Simon's shown him the ropes and we're looking good, so yeah. You said back in the spring there was a specific type of punt you were trying to learn, and I can't for the life of me remember what it was, but um, how has that kind of uh, come along? Uh, I think I was talking about spiral punt. Um, yeah, getting that down, obviously it's important as a punter to progress to the league, you need to have a good spiral punt. Um, I feel like I've taken strides in that. Um, it's obviously not what I'm used to, coming from AFL background, Australian rules football, we, we like to do the end over end kicks and you know drive them more, but it's, it's a work in progress and I will only improve going on further in the years, so it's good. Favorite musical artist? <laughs> we me and Simon have this little uh, this band called Men at Work. You ever heard them? The sure Land Down Under. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've always wanted to play it on the big speakers on the field. That'd be funny. Turn down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, just you know, freshman All American last year. Coming into this year, any obviously your knowledge of the game has improved, but any like physical attributes that you know you added distance to your punts or anything like that, kind of over the off season. Uh, yeah, I think just getting stronger in the weight room will definitely help with distance. Um, but at the end of the day, it's just being consistent. Um, I felt last year I was I did a fairly good job at that, and this year I just need to improve on it and be even better at it. Because as a punter, your job is just to be consistent and help your team get in good positions, especially defense. So that's what I need to improve on. I feel like, uh, you know, from a mental standpoint, it's – you. <laughs> I mean, after what you went through last year and now going into this year, is it, did, did that I get that that first year injury is just the you know kind of imp improve your I, you know nothing's going to kind of hold me back now that from that kind of angle. Yeah, I mean the mental toughness that that kind of bred in me was is is going to be a good thing. I think um, having to go through adversity like that um, only, only strengthens a person. So um, I'm excited. I, I feel like it's going to be a lot better going into a season, you know, not having a broken ankle, being healthy, having two feet. So, nah, it's good. How would you describe the kind of the, the personality or the vibe of the specialist room right now? Uh, we're a goofy bunch. We like to have fun just basically because if we're feeling stressed, that's when we don't perform well. So we like to de-stress by all having a laugh, just having a good time and you know, we when it comes down to it, obviously we lock in because we only have one shot to really do our job. So we have to be locked in. But when we're not, we're having fun. We're trying to de-stress, breathe, and yeah, have a good time. So I understand you guys are pretty close friends. Uh, what could you say about you know Dean's talents and just kind of what what he adds to the team and in that room as well? I mean, yeah, Dean's been there since day one for me, which has been really good i mean he took me under my under his wing and showed me america so we've had a close bond since since the beginning basically but you know he's an unbelievable kicker coming in last year you know he wasn't starting and he just got put in there put in the deep end kind of like me it was my first game and it was his first game and you know we we we'll just we just looked at each other and we we're like well this is our time to go let's do it let's get it done and Ever since then, he's just progressed and progressed, and this year he's looking unbelievable. So I'm excited to see how he 
how we go this year and yeah, it's really exciting. We spoke to some of your family members at the Apple Cup last year um, and they were you know, excited to see you play. Will they be able to get over uh, for any of the games this year? Uh, well, we've been talking about it. I'm not sure if they'll be able to come over this year. Um, it's yeah, It might be a little tough for them to get over here this year, but if they can, they will. But if not, I mean, they'll always be supporting me um, on the TV and whatnot. And I always give them a call, even though it's like sometimes 3 o'clock in the morning or 2 o'clock in the morning for them. But they're always up for a call before a game, have a chat to my parents. And, you know, that kind of de-stresses me. And it's nice to hear a familiar, familiar voice with a little Australian accent in there. Um, but, yeah, so I'm not sure if they'll come. But if they do, it'll be awesome. One more, I think. Good. Anything else? Hey, so what is the number one thing that your teammates can do that gets you pumped up? Pumped up? I mean, the lineman before a game is always a, is always a great thing to watch. Like, I'll just be sitting there because for me, I'm just trying to, just trying to like calm down and get in like a, a zone kind of thing and be focused. Um, but these linemen, they'll be just charged up listening to like screamo music and it'll be blasting in the locker room i mean if i was if i was going out there and banging heads with people then i mean i'd probably be wanting to do that as well but yeah I, sometimes i just sit there and like okay i gotta try and focus on me and get in the zone but yeah that's probably what pumps me up seeing those boys run around so how much time do you spend with your fellow specialists off the field a, a lot of time i think it's really important um to have a tight knit bond in that group because at the end of the day, if you trust each other, like especially I trust Simon that he's gonna snap me a good ball. Dean has to trust me that I'm gonna get it down on the ground for him. And if there's that trust there, then ultimately it doesn't matter what happens. We're, we're always just gonna, Dean's gonna swing as hard as he can and try and get it through the sticks. So um, it's just, yeah, spending time outside of football just helps to build that trust. and yeah, further our relationship together, so it's good. And as a group, uh, what do you think is your favorite activity off the field? Uh, we, like, uh, we've been doing it for a couple weekends now. We normally get uh, the specialist group over to the, our house, um, and Dean, Dean cooks up a main feed on his Traeger, smokes up some, some good stuff, so it's always, uh, it's always a treat to get like a little smoked tri-tip or some ribs in there. And yeah, we just feast and chat and it's good stuff, so.